me. Sit down. Guess what? Guess what? You figured it out, didn't you? Okay, just stay close to her. You want to sit down? Could you get more comfortable sitting down? You okay? All right. What's your name? Zara? We have a young lady here who would like to make her statement of faith as we call it in English, or Shahada, as it's called in the Arabiya. Okay, this is real simple. And don't say it if you don't mean it. Okay? All you say is, I bear witness. Does he have a mic that's better yet? You say, I bear witness. There's no God to worship. Except the law. And I bear witness. Muhammad's his messenger. MashaAllah. That was easy way. Now let's, we're going to do the Arabic and this is really, really easy if you just listen to the words. Watch my mouth, listen to the words and just say what I say. Ready? Okay. Hold my cup so you can. Ashadu. An la ilaha. Illallah. Wa. Ashadu. Anna Muhammad. Rasulullah. That's it. Now you get it all. Now I need to tell you the good news. The good news is this. You can go sit down. Relax. Take it easy. The hard part's over. Now the good part is going to come. Hang on to this girl because when she finds out what's next, she's going to start crying. Okay? Because on this spot, on this day, and in this place, right here in Jacksonville, Florida, this young lady became brand new, born again. Speedometer was zeroed back to zero. Brand new. Huh? No scratches, no dents. Yes. Because Lord Pantella does that when somebody comes into Islam, totally forgives all of their previous sins, and then replaces that with an equal amount of good. All you have right now are good deeds. Mountains and mountains of good deeds. No sin. And regardless of who it is, they're restored back as a virgin. Brand new starting all over again. It's the best condition anybody can be in. Like when a Muslim goes for Hajj and comes back. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you just witnessed that tonight. And the Prophet said, who was ever good, were you Christian? Who was ever a good Christian and he became a Muslim? There's a double reward for you. Because you believed in Jesus, and now you believed in Muhammad. See? I told you it was good. And plus you just gained one and a half billion brothers and sisters who love the same God that you love. And they love you too. They don't know you yet, but some of them are finding out about you right this minute online. Really? Oh, you got another bonus right here. <laughs> Could somebody take this? One of you boys take this over to here. Take that over to This is a gift from the Islamic Center, by the way. Some books. I hope you enjoy that. We're real proud of you. I feel good. How about you? Yeah. That's my paycheck. That's wonderful. Wonderful. By the way, you might find something strange in the beginning. Take everything a step at a time. And realize this. That Allah said in the Quran, do you think you're going to be left alone? Human beings are going to be left alone just because they said we believe and they're not going to be put to death? Because Allah is for sure going to put them to death as He tested those before them to show those that are truthful and those that are the liars. Is that amazing? I hear a baby in the background. But just, you know what, we got a newborn baby sitting right over here too. <laughs> Real proud of you. Very happy for you. You feel like crying? Yeah, I did too. Don't, don't. I was in a prison one time and a, a man came up to me, he was about this big, huge, much bigger than me. And he wanted to become a Muslim. He was huge. And when he did his shahada, in the middle of it, he almost broke down. He was trembling and shaking. 
and tears running down his face. This is a big man. A criminal in prison. He said he wanted to be a Muslim. And became like a baby. Changed his whole life. Amazing. Feels good, man. Feels good. Anybody else? I mean, might as well keep the door open. If anybody else would like to make their shot, it's a nice good time to do it. Evidently, Shaitan took a hike. <laughs> he got tired and left. So, if you want to enter into Islam, it's a very good time to do that. Very, very easy for you. Just say this. I believe there's only one God. I believe Muhammad is messenger. That's all it takes. And then act according to what you said. The Prophet was asked one time a question. Can you tell us something about this way of Islam that only you can tell us? And he said, Kul Which means in English, say, I put everything into the trust of Almighty God and then be steadfast in what you say. Isn't that a beautiful teaching? Trust God. Trust God. Say, I trust God for everything. That all of my matters, all of my affairs are in the hands of God. But then be steadfast in what you claim. Good teaching, huh? Yeah, I know that there's some that are still a little bit shy. So I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. What we're going to do, some of you would like to do it, but you don't want anybody else to know. Maybe you're a little bit shy. Just say it from where you're at. Because I'm going to say it, I say it every day, 17 times a day, anyhow, it's no big deal for us. So, this is what you can say. And so, anybody want to say it with me, you can say it too. And that way the person who wants to say it, they can say it and nobody can hear them, huh? After me, I bear witness. I bear witness. There's no God to worship. There's no God to worship. Except the law. Except the law. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. Muhammad is messenger. Muhammad is messenger. And anybody who is Christian, they can still say this too. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Jesus is his messenger too. That Jesus is his messenger too. This is also in the Shahada, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Now, Arabic. Let's do it again. Did you stay there? Though. Ready? Ashadu. Ashadu. An la ilaha. An la ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna Muhammad. Anna Muhammad. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Feels good. Feels good.